Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to this Ramadan's final episode of Soul Food. In the beginning of Ramadan, we talked about Ramadan and how Ramadan is supposed to improve us. It's a spiritual retreat. It's a boot camp for our bad habits. We were supposed to improve ourselves during this month. And alhamdulillah, by the grace of Allah, many of us who were supposed, we were able to pray much and read the Quran and fast and do all of the good things. But one major problem with Ramadan is that some people become Ramadaniyun. They fall into the trap of becoming Ramadaniyun. What is that, you may ask? It's the fact that we only worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during the month of Ramadan. But actually, the goal of Ramadan is for us to become Rabbaniyun. And to be Rabbaniyun, that is to be fully devoted to Allah Azza wa Jal and fully dedicated and committed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at all times, regardless of the circumstances that we are going through. So in order to help ourselves move forward and become more Rabbaniyun, let's discuss the following points. Number one, Let's not become overly proud and self-conceited with whatever we have done in the month of Ramadan. We must continue to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept these actions. We must be humble. We know that the Salaf al-Salih, our pious predecessors, used to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept their Ramadan from them even six months after Ramadan was completed. Second point, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in an analogy in the Quran, He says, do not be like a lady who undoes the thread which she has spun after it has become strong. So since we developed habits of reading the Quran, giving sadaqah and praying qiyam and doing all of these things and fasting, we must continue. Yes, Ramadan is a blessed time in itself. Things are made easy. However, at the same time, we cannot leave everything out until next Ramadan. And subhanAllah, Allah makes it easier for us to have this transition. For example, how about we start by fasting the six days of Shawwal right after Ramadan is over. And the third point, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the Quran, وَعْبُدْ رَبَّكَ حَتَّى يَأْتِيَكَ الْيَقِينَ And continue to worship your Lord until the certitude comes upon you. And certitude here means death, which everything will, everyone will face. And subhanAllah, we do not know we're going to leave this world. Some of us live to old age, some of us die young. As a result, we must be ready for that moment. That moment can come without any warning, without any prior signs. That's why our motto in life, our slogan should be وَعْبُدْ رَبَّكَ حَتَّى يَأْتِيَكَ الْيَقِينَ Continue to worship Allah Azza wa Jal. And the fourth point that I want to leave you with is that Ramadan is all about change. It's about becoming better. We know that change and self-improvement are not events, rather they are processes. So let's continue to work on ourselves. Let's take our bad habits, one bad habit at a time, and improve it. And at the end, I just pray to Allah Azza wa Jal to accept our Ramadan from us and to accept our fasting, our reading Quran, our charities, and everything else that we did. And for Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to make us steadfast until next Ramadan and until we meet Him. And finally, on behalf of myself and the brothers and sisters at the University of Ottawa Muslim Student Association, we'd like to wish you and your families a happy and blessed Eid. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.